Jamuru kunwa mshonga enyu. Faira oloti enyu ya paka naka. Kana tishiti paka naka msimbabwe tukuti below 1,000. Ye kupet sire ya mbaga toro yenge yeri 83,281. Saka isi tukuti below 1,000. Tinenta utiri pachi paka naka. Saka mimi neuda kutu magachinji wa mshonga wenyuma wapa second line. Tawada kuona uti second line ya asho ii. Mima piri tamuru kumu. Iri kukushandira isha ganaka yewe. Utashua na watsikiri nika yewe. Uyeshe utimimu kumo wa mapiri tse isha ganaka yewe. You know lab services are very very important in the provision of quality health care services. Because the clinicians they rely on the lab test for them to eventually be able to make a diagnosis. But fortunately with the point of care technology, we have managed to decentralize uh, the lab services uh, to most of our uh, lower level uh, facilities. And as a result, some of these tests that were only accessible at higher uh, laboratory institutions are now being able to be offered at the lower levels of care. Currently we have two devices that are part of the connectivity project. We have the PIMA point of care device, which runs CD4 tests for clients that are HIV positive. We also have the gene expert, where we run sputum samples to check for tuberculosis. We also run HIV-1 viral load testing on the same device. When we're talking about connectivity, we are talking about devices that have been um, attached, as it were, to our point of care testing devices, mainly the Pima machine and the gene expert. And what happens is that they, we have modems that are connected to these devices. They track the test that we are running. They will track all the information in terms of the client's name, specimen numbers, and so forth. When the test is done, it will yield a result. And once we have that result, that result is automatically transmitted via the internet to either the provincial lab or the national lab in Harare. This is good because it enables authorities at the uh, main labs, whether the provincial labs or the central lab, to track our consumption uh, in terms of reagents, how much we're using per month. It's a good way to monitor our stocks. It is a good way to gather statistics with minimal paperwork as possible. As you can see, the software here is the GeneX, GeneX Alert. And when you go to the dashboard, you can see, for example, the errors at Mutari Provincial Hospital Laboratory. Here it shows 4% errors that's acceptable. When you go compare with the Mutambara errors now, that shows you now need to go down to Mutambara and give them the necessary help. And then for consumables now, gene expert cartridges, it's flagging that Marange Mission Hospital has 276 cartridges that are projected to expire. It gives advice also, move cartridges to labs with the low inventory. As we decentralize, we have realized that you know we need to train these people so that they give a quality result. You know, for laboratory services, we always say a good result is what should go to the patient, but a bad result is as good as nothing. You know, and at the end of the day, one thing that the quality hinges on is not the machine only or is not the reagents but it's also the person who is doing the testing.